Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. Today I am back with an amazing internship opportunity that many of you have been waiting for. I have received so many comments asking about Infosys Springboard applications. And finally, the day has come. The applications for the Infosys Springboard internship are now open. If you are sincere and follow what I say in this video, then you have more than 99% chance of getting selected. This internship is a bit different from others, so I request you to listen carefully to understand everything about the process. So watch this video completely without skipping, so you don't miss any important steps. Now without any further delay, let's get started. Infosys Springboard is a great opportunity for everyone. If you are a college student, then you can directly apply without any hesitation. It doesn't matter if you are in first year, second year, third year or even fourth year. If you are studying in a recognized college, then you are eligible to apply. The internship is completely virtual, which means everything is online. You don't have to travel or spend any money. Now let's see what you will learn in this internship. In this internship, you will gain technical knowledge and hands-on experience in your selected technology area. It's based on project-based learning. You will get a project to complete either as a team or individually depending on the project head. You will also get expert guidance from industry leaders and you will become a part of a like-minded community which is really really important in today's tech world. It is a virtual internship. So you can continue attending your college and participate in the internship during your allocated time period. Now let us talk about the eligibility. Yes, I have already said earlier, if you have completed 12th grade and are currently pursuing any degree like B.Tech, post-graduation or any other higher education, you are directly eligible. This is not for working professionals or intermediate students. And it is open to students from all branches like CSC, EC, EEE, AIML and others. One important point to remember is that this internship is meant to provide project experience to students. So the previous batches or working professionals should not apply. Now let's see the nomination and shortlisting process. The last date to apply is June 2nd, 2025. That is very close. So don't delay. Apply as soon as possible. If you are watching this on your phone, switch to your laptop and quickly apply because the applications from phone are automatically rejected. Keep this in the mind. Also share this with your friends because I know you are not selfish. Ok, now coming to the nomination form, fill it carefully and don't get confused. Both the nomination form and also the application form are same. The details you provide during self-nomination cannot be changed later, so double check and apply properly. To be eligible for this internship, you must complete certain courses in your selected technology domain by June 30, 2025. Don't worry, don't worry. I will explain this course completion part later in this video. While applying, make sure to use the same Infosys Springboard ID and email that you used while registering on their website. If you forget, you can find that by clicking on the right side top profile option. You can see here. When you click, you can see all the details which you gave while registering in the website. From this, you can get your details. Let's understand the shortlisting process now. By just completing the courses doesn't guarantee selection. Even if you score 90% or even 100%, there is no guarantee at all. Due to limited slots, the course completion date is very very important. They follow a first come first served approach. So complete your courses as early as possible. Once you finish your courses and get selected for this internship, then this is the next step. You will be allocated to a batch and you must join only the assigned batch. No changes will be allowed. You get emails regularly and mentor will be assigned to you. Attend all the sessions because attendance is very important. Even after selection, you won't get a certificate just like that. You need to work on the project and maintain good attendance too. Let's go through the best practices. First, be regular in attending virtual sessions. If you need leave, inform your mentor. They will provide. 
participate actively in all the sessions even if you don't understand something just ask your mentor or your teammates and try to complete all the tasks and assignments on time coming to certification and milestones to be eligible for the certificate your attendance and participation in all activities will be checked this internship is divided into four milestones each of two weeks based on your performance in these milestones you will be considered for the certificate post internship details will be shared after the selection so now focus on completing the courses and getting selected now comes the main part how and where to apply i have the link and i will give it in the description but before that as i have said you have to complete some courses in your selected technology domain let's look at the options these are the learning paths and categories they have provided you can see here you will see five categories artificial intelligence angular full stack python technology stack java technology stack and data visualization choose one and complete all the required courses if you want to complete the courses you can select the technology stack and once you select all the courses that you should do will be shown here you can see here i know it sounds like a big task but if you want this internship try to complete them as soon as possible for example if i select python technology stack i have completed all the courses last year and got the internship if i haven't completed then i may not get the internship so try to complete the courses as soon as possible let me now show you how to complete a course if you are doing it for the first time at first select the technology stack and then you will see the required courses and now select the course which you would like to complete for example i am selecting introduction to data science once i click on it this page will be open and if you want to complete the course then click on start option which is in the green color and once you click on it the course will be opened and you need to study the topics which they have given you can see the topics that you will be covered in the course on the right side of the screen and once you complete all the courses you will have a self assignment session at the last as you can see here and if you want to write the assessment then you can click on it and click on the start option and attempt the quiz try to gain as many marks as possible this is how you can complete a course and now let me tell you most important thing that is there are two types of courses one is normal course and other one is certification course to know that you can see the labels here if it is labeled as course then it is called as normal course and if it is labeled as certification then it is called as certification course certification course is a bit different from normal course in certification course you have to turn on your camera and attempt the exam and also there will be a minimum percentage in order to pass the examination in order to pass the examination you have to score at least 65 percentage or else you will get failed and once you fail you can only attempt the exam after 14 days so try not to fail in the certification exam and this percentage will play a major role in shortlisting the candidates so try to score as best as you can the normal course don't need the camera so complete both types but focus more on certification courses now let me tell you how to apply i will give this link in the description which i am showing and once you click on it you will get this page so scroll down and click on click here to apply a button once you click on it this page will be opened if you have already registered you will be taken to the survey page if not register and log in first in the website and once you logged in click on the start survey button then click on accept and start and once you click on it the registration form will be opened now fill the details as per the requirements now please enter your name as per the registration id in the infosys springboard as i have already told you earlier you have to provide the name as per the registration profile in infosys springboard website if you forget you can check by clicking on the right side profile option 
Once you click on it, you will get all the details. This is how you can get your details even if you forget. So do not worry. Now do the same for email id and next enter the college name. Next one is enter the city where your college is located and next one is enter the state in which your college is located. Then in which category do you want to do internship? I mean they have given 5 categories artificial intelligence, angular full stack, python technology stack, java technology stack and data visualization. You need to select the option accordingly. Here. Think twice before you select because once you select you cannot change it later. And next choose the graduation program you are doing. And next one is enter the current year you are pursuing. And next enter the expected year of graduation. And next one is they are asking whether you are a working professional. As I have told you this internship is not for working professionals. So if you are a student then select option no and the last one is were you already selected for this internship before so if you are doing it for the first time click on no after filling everything click on submit button don't worry don't worry if you don't get a confirmation mail just don't worry about that many people ask me this and i have got a lot of comments about this you will not receive a confirmation mail. Just focus on completing the courses before June 30. Thank you for all your support. I have seen many people thanking me after getting selected and it means a lot to me. I feel very special reading those messages. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe to our channel. And I have already made videos sharing my internship experience in both English and Telugu and one for doubt clarification. If you are really interested and want to know what you will learn in that internship, then you can check out my videos. I will give all the links in the description. And please like the video if this is helpful. And check the description for all those links if you need them. And that's it for today. Thank you. Bye bye. See you in our next video.